Now at five, the federal trial for Cliven Bundy and his two sons for the armed standoff at the ranch. It's getting underway and already tonight, a major move by their legal team. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Snyder. And I'm Marie Mortera. Quite the start here. Cliven Bundy putting out a list of 1,145 people he wants to call to the stand. News 3's Denise Rosh live for us at the federal courthouse with details. Yeah, Marie, attorneys say this trial will absolutely last into January or February. And as you mentioned, the number of potential witnesses, 1,145. Today, the judge read off every single name, and it includes a veritable who's who of Nevada politics. If I owe any grazing fees, I will sure pay it to the right landlord, and that would be Clark County, Nevada. That was Cliven Bundy just prior to his arrest in early 2016, refusing to back down to the federal government. Today, appearing in court along with his sons Ryan and Ammon, along with a fourth defendant, Ryan Payne, all four men dressed in red jailhouse uniforms, refusing to change into suit and tie for jury selection. <laughs> They're not allowed to wear that normally. This would be the first time in two years, so they just decided to stick with what they were given. Attorney Brett Whipple is representing Cliven Bundy, the 71-year-old rancher facing decades in prison if convicted of conspiracy and other charges related to the 2014 armed standoff with the BLM. The government attempting to round up Bundy's cattle over unpaid grazing fees, confronted by angry protesters and forced to back down. We've been ready over a year. We want to get out of here. One issue hanging over the trial will the strip shooting of October 1st interfere with the defendant's right to a fair trial. Bundy supporter Vincent Easley says it's possible. The allegations of uh, the, uh, Stephen Paddock uh, and buying guns in Mesquite from the uh, gun shop up there and we see in the press people trying to relay it. You've got all the conspiracy theories and you know people just making stuff up. Whipple disagrees. Hey, it's part and parcel of who we are here, right? I mean, we have to address it. I want people to discuss it, but I don't think it's connected in any way to what happened back in 2014. As for that potential witness list, former Senator Harry Reid, Governor Brian Sandoval, and Attorney General Adam Laxalt are all included. Whether any of them will ever take the stand is yet to be seen. And one interesting note from court today, the prosecutor asked that jury pool as a whole, who by a show of hands would think that it's okay to bring a gun to a protest. Not a single person raised their hand. Just one example of what attorneys are looking at in this jury pool. Court has now adjourned for the night. They will be back at it tomorrow morning. Reporting live, I'm Denise Rosh for News 3. Let's go back to you in the studio. This is definitely going to be one to watch, especially with more than 1,100 called so far. All right, Denise, thank you for that. Meantime, attorneys for some of the victims of the strip shooting will.